Hello fans, welcome to Germany, welcome to Nuremberg. Enjoy the highlights of the Formula 3 European Championship at the street circuit called Norris Ring. The FIA Formula 3 Championship roared back into life after a six week break at the historic Norris Ring, the tricky 2.3 kilometer street circuit on the outskirts of Nuremberg in southern Germany. With a crowd of over 100,000, it is always a highlight of the season. The first of the three races started not only under a blazing sun with temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius, but also with a cloud hanging over championship contender Felix Rosenquist of Sweden, as the motorsport authorities had found a possible inconsistency in a fuel sample taken from the orange Mocha Motorsport machine. At the start, it was his arch rival and the championship leader, Lello Marchiello, who made the best start, while the Ferrari Potiget's Prima Power teammate, Alex Lynn, made a good start to pass Felix Serralis. Despite some slight problems with his gear shift, Marchiello, who had a disappointing trio of races in Austria at the previous round, started to pull away. F3 returning Alexander Sims was racing strongly in the white T-Sport Nissan powered car, while F3 debutant 18-year-old Nick Cassidy from Auckland, New Zealand showed his inexperience by stalling on the grid, but then quickly made up places. Tatiana Calderon, the Colombian lady racer, clashed with fellow female driver Michele Ceruti, and the subsequent yellow flag area caused some confusion, with five drivers receiving penalties for speeding. At the finish, it was Marchiello the winner, with Rosenquist provisionally second and Alex Lynn in third place. Gerales was credited with fourth ahead of Tom Blomquist. The Saturday afternoon race saw Rosenquist again racing under a field. This time it was Alex Lynn who made the best start and the British driver in the Italian run car was able to fend off teammate Marchiello at the first hairpin, the tight Grundig bend. The Italian ran wide and came out behind Rosenquist at the Schola S. Marchiello again made a mistake and then dropped to fifth place. Lynn, looking for his second win of the year, was well ahead of Rosenquist while Marchiello battled to regain a podium position, which he successfully did, passing Sims, but not Rosenquist. Behind Sims, the Brazilian Durrani held off the Puerto Rican Felix Serralis. So Lynn took the chequered flag with Rosenquist second again. But it's all provisional and he wasn't allowed on the podium, with Marchiello coming home third with a spirited drive. This was Lynn's reaction afterwards. I'm so happy I, I did it. The third and final race on Sunday was again held under a hot sun and the cloud over Rosenquist had lifted too as retesting the Swedes' fuel sample had proved it was completely legal, which meant his two second places from the previous day were confirmed. The blast down to the first hairpin saw Marchiello in the lead from pole position while Rosenquist had to defend an attack from Lynn. These three drivers being the dominant trio of the weekend. Now with a clear head, the cool Swede Rosenquist, fresh from success in the non-championship Sandvoort Masters, started to put pressure on Marchiello. On lap 14, that pressure showed, and Marchiello break too late, ran wide, and Rosenquist nipped into the lead. The Italian teenager managed to slot in ahead of teammate Lynn and hang on to second place. The famous hairpin saw several incidents. Canada's Nicholas Latifi ran into Michael Lewis. Giovinazzi and Lucas Wolf tangled. And Felix Serralis lost his wing after hitting Jan Mardenborough. Rosenquist impressively powered away from the field, but there was a good battle between Tom Blomquist, Alexander Sims and Lucas Auer for fourth, fifth and sixth. So Rosenquist took the flag to claim victory and reduced Marchiello's championship lead to 24 and a half points. This time, of course, he was allowed on the podium to celebrate in the traditional style. Afterwards, he was a relieved and happy man. What a roller coaster! It's unbelievable. 